Now, I just thought on jamming on some stray cats here today at 92 KQRS, and look what happens. You play the stray cats, and all of a sudden Brian Setzer calls in. <laughs> you you play stray cats, and you get a stray cat. There you are. <laughs> Welcome to the show. What a game. And it, surprise is to have you call in and want to shoot the breeze a little bit. Let's do that. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to call in. I just I figured if I spoke to rock and roll people kind of about, you know, uh, yeah, Tom Petty passing and just what's gone on the past couple of days. I, I kind of think I'd feel better. <laughs> so I'm just calling in to kind of maybe share a couple of stories that, you know, I had about Tom and maybe people will call in. I don't know. Let's have it. What do you got? I mean, you must have, you've known Tom, I would imagine. Yeah. I met Tom back, uh, probably late eighties and, um, I toured with, with Tom and, uh, a good, a good story I've got with Tom is that, um, I went over his house one 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 night. We spent the whole night basically jammed on Ricky Nelson and Elvis songs, and he recorded the whole thing. So those tapes are around somewhere of us just jamming. And, uh, those are going to be surfacing at some time. Yeah, you know, they has got to be around, but he was just a great guy, and oh, gosh. Yeah, I heard on uh, the morning show they were talking about how he says to the young musicians, they say, you learn more from the older music than you ever do from the newer stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's the kind of stuff we, we both liked. We just jammed and uh, just a, a great cat. and Yeah, just uh, just trying to feel better about it. <laughs> I know, we're just trying to wrap our brains around it. Just, that just came out of nowhere for all of us fans and, you know, every, people, uh, music fans and Tom Petty fans. It's just crazy. I know, I know. And then there was all the confusion, too, about is he gone or isn't he, and he's still hanging on and that kind of thing. And so I don't know if you caught any part of our, our tribute yesterday, but we had the, you know, we started at about 3.15 and played petty music up till 10 o'clock. I did. When I heard running, running Down a Dream, I thought, you know, I, I want to call in, but <clears throat> it just took me a minute to actually do it. And I, you know, and we could talk about all the, the stuff that brings us down, but to keep it happy, you know, and we had a lot of great memories, of course, the music of all the, the musicians that have left us, but we've got a lot of good ones still around, like yourself. And I'll tell you what, I have got a good memory. I saw the Brian Setzer Orchestra with Pat Benatar at Disney World one time. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was, it was supposed to be a surprise musician. Yeah, it was a surprise. All right. Wow. <laughs> I, wow! Wait, I mean, what I, a I, what a great matchup because I got to see sides of uh, you know your band and Pat that I never knew you know or hear yeah. both sides. So, well, you know, you're right. We we should bring it up, and maybe that's the thing we should do. I'll I'll give you one one more good one because I, uh, Mike Campbell is a good friend. So the first time I met Mike, you know, he was, he's Tom's guitar player, and I went over his place and I went out in his backyard, and he's got a friggin' batting cage. <laughs> I thought, how cool is this guy's got, he's got a batting cage. So we became friends and wrote, I think we've written probably five or six songs together, but I mean, I'll never forget that. He still has it, you know, going to back at his baseballs. It's awesome. You got the memories. That's that's awesome. We could probably talk for an hour about it, but uh, I don't want to keep you too long. But I'm really surprised and really uh, pleasantly surprised you gave a call in today. We're talking to Brian Setzer. Uh, you know him from the Stray Cats and the Brian Setzer Orchestra here at KQ92. And uh, before you go, though, I got to ask you one thing. I knew you were a car guy at one time. Do you still got anything interesting? Well, I'm, I'm kind of more into old motorcycles at the moment, you know. I kind of. Yeah? Old, yeah, I got a couple old Triumph bikes. I'm kind of like fiddling around with those things and, you know, ride out in the country. I, I guess I'm kind of getting more like that. I, you know, I always wanted an old Triumph. I always wanted a uh, Arthur Fonzarelli Triumph is what I would like to get. Oh, you want a 52. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. <laughs> and, be, and, and I couldn't let you get away. I'm going to bring up cars one more time. What was the first car you ever had? My first car was a 57 Chevy. Really? Wow. And I bet My that's one of those car. you're like you're kicking yourself or letting go at this point. Yeah, I mean, I had to have that stuff back then. I said, you know, I didn't want something new that ran well. I had to get an old car that looked cool. <laughs> and that <laughs> one fit the bill. Life. Hey, thanks a lot for calling in. Brian Setzer on KQ92, and hopefully we'll talk again. Thanks. Th thanks a lot. We'll see you time. around. Bye.